Good morning and welcome back to Tech 259 for February 1st. I want to make this quick video here to talk about the uh, thermal energy project in Tech 259. And uh, I mentioned on the first day of class that I am actually a big fan of projects, of, uh, of student projects. And uh, there's a couple of reasons for that, but mainly it's because it allows you to pick a topic that you're interested in and then dive more deeply into that and learn more about it than you could if it was part of the actual class, because we got to cover quite a few different topics, which leaves us with a limited amount of time on each topic. So this lets you have some input into what you want to study and to look at it in more detail than you would otherwise. So. I do want you to pick a topic related to thermal energy, and I'll give you some suggested topics, but you can certainly come up with your own. And uh, you've got over a month, actually about a month and a half from right now to do some research on them. And ultimately you're going to give a presentation on your topic to the class. And I'll talk about what that should look like here in just a minute. But first let's take a look at the course schedule. The uh, uh, date today is February 1st, and you have more than a month. So our first exam is on March 3rd, and then I actually give you a work day on March 8th. And then the presentations on the thermal energy projects will start on March 15th. So later on, there will be a sign up uh, for the presentations where you can choose to present either on March 15th or on March 17th. But everyone will give a presentation on their thermal energy project on one of those two days. So let me go ahead and share my screen because I want to show you the project assignment document. Okay, here it is. I want to show, let me scroll up. All right, here is the description of the thermal energy project. And this is also on ReggieNet under the resources tab. So uh, you have access to this, you have this, it's under resources on ReggieNet. So I want, what I want you to do is use as a baseline the knowledge that you've gained in the first half of this semester about thermal energy, thermodynamics and heat transfer and, and lots of different uh, stuff that we've talked about in the first half of the semester or that we will talk about and apply it to something that's real world and maybe hopefully meaningful to you in some way. You can work by yourself or you can work with a partner, either one. Uh, if you work with a partner, that's fine, but you need to both participate in the presentation that you give later on in the semester. I want you to do both a qualitative and a quantitative explanation of the system. So you've probably noticed that we have been dealing with quantitative, that means numerical, uh, explanations or calculations relating to these uh, thermal energy systems. So I want you to apply that to your thermal energy project. And most projects, you can do some type of quantitative analysis in addition to qualitative description as well. So the deliverable for this is going to be an eight to 12 minute presentation that you give to the class, either on March 15th or on March 17th. And we will probably do that via, <coughs> excuse me, via Zoom, uh, just because we can't get everyone in the classroom. I don't think that the classroom capacity in the pandemic is high enough for us to get everyone into the classroom. So we'll probably do this via Zoom. You'll give your presentation to the class via a Zoom presentation. And the presentation should have two parts. Uh, you don't have to necessarily identify, okay, this is part one and this is part two, but you should have these two parts present in your presentation. In part one, I want you to describe how the system works. And I'd like you to give a qualitative as well as a quantitative describe it in words or drawings, as well as show some equations that are relevant to its operation. And they should be relevant to the topics that we've discussed in class, thermodynamics or heat transfer or steam systems, power plant systems. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff that is relevant. It can be tangentially relevant to uh, any type of thermal energy system, a thermal system with relating to heat, all right? That's part one, describe it. And then in part two, 
I want you to do at least one of these two options. You can do both if you want, but I want you to do at least one of these two. So the first option is suggest an improvement to the system. How could you make this system better? I know that's not always easy to do, but uh, think about, you know, if money was no object, you know, maybe it would be very expensive to make an improvement, but maybe you could. Maybe you could make the system better by changing something about the system, even though it might make the system less cost effective. So that's fine. You can, you can describe how you could improve the system from a efficiency or um, quantitative performance type perspective. So that's one option. And the other option is maybe it's really hard, depending on your system, to, to uh, come up with an improvement of the system. But if you can't come up with an improvement, then at least talk about how it has improved over time. Think about what improvements have been made to improve the efficiency or the cost effectiveness uh, or something about the system that has improved over time. So I want you to, in either case, in either case, I want you to describe how it has improved or it could be improved, as well as show some calculations, because we've, we've done a fair amount of calculations in this class. So show some calculations to describe quantitatively how it could be improved or how it has been improved over time. The assessment, I will show you the rubric in just a minute, but basically there's 35 points for part one here and there's 35 points for part two where you choose either one or both of this and of this and then there's 20 points for the visual imagery that you provide in pictures or diagrams or your powerpoint presentation uh, or something like that where you show us um, about your system that you've chosen and then 10 points for an oral presentation. You know, how clearly did you describe it in words? So it's worth your effort to practice this a couple of times, practice your presentation so that you can give us a, a clear uh, explanation of your chosen system. In the second page of this document, which is on ReggieNet, there is a pretty long list of possible project ideas. And yeah, I can fit this all on one page, barely. So these are all possible ideas for a project that you could choose. And you're welcome to choose a different project as well. If you have any question about whether a certain topic might be relevant or whether it might be a good choice to do your thermal energy project on, just shoot me an email or just contact me sometime and uh, we, can, we can talk about it. I'm more than happy, in general, I'm more than happy to entertain other topics as well. I want this to be a topic that is hopefully interesting to you. So if there's a topic that relates to heat or thermal energy that you're interested in, let me know and we can probably figure something else out. All right, uh, so this is just a, a possible list of topics that you could choose from if you're not sure what to choose. I want to try to make it so that there's only one group or person, depending on if you work by yourself or with a team. I want there to be, uh, you know, a good a good mix of of uh, items that are presented. So I don't want to have two groups that talk about the same topic. So uh, I do have a sign up list that I'll show you in a couple of minutes. And before you sign up, you need to look at what other people have signed up for and don't sign up for the same thing that someone else has already signed up for. So if you really want something on this list, then make sure you sign up quickly to kind of reserve that topic for yourself or, or your group. Uh, there are some things here that probably could be divided up into subtopics. So uh, if you see that someone else has already picked a topic that you really want to do, then we might be able to work something out. There might be a way that we can divide the topic into two halves or you, you talk about one aspect of it and the other group will talk about a different aspect of it. So we might be able to work something out like that. So let me know if you, know, if, if you see somebody else has already signed up for something, but you are also really interested in that. Let me know and we can see if we can work something out. 
All right, so that is the description and some suggested ideas. And now I'm going to show you the rubric, which is also on ReggieNet. This is the grade form that I'm going to use to evaluate your presentation. Uh, so it's divided into two parts, like we saw before. Part one is just a description of the operation. So note that there should be some qualitative description and some quantitative description of the system. And you should use it, um, use those descriptions to describe how the system operates and also relate it to some of the principles that we've talked about in our class so far. Believe me, that whole list of topics that I just showed, those all relate at least tangentially to the topics that we've talked about in class so far. Then part two is the part about making improvements. So you should select either one or both of these is fine. And you need to clearly describe an improvement that could be made to the system, or you need to describe how the system has been improved over time in terms of efficiency or cost effectiveness or performance or, or something, how it has evolved and changed and presumably improved over time. Those are each worth 35 points out of 100. And then 20 points out of 100 is the visual representation of your system. And then 10 points is the presentation part, how well you're able to describe your system and explain it to us in the audience. All right, so those are the relevant documents. I think I'll also share the ReggieNet. So let me go over to the ReggieNet. And what I've got here, if I share ReggieNet. Okay, you should be able to see my ReggieNet page now. And uh, I tried I tried setting something up in the sign up. There's actually a tool on ReggieNet called sign up, but it seems to it seems to be that that is more designed for signing up for a specific time that didn't seem to work very well for just signing up for a topic. So what I think I'm going to try, I want to do this through ReggieNet because that'll be a lot easier than putting a physical piece of paper in the RE lab and making you come in to sign up for a topic. So what I'm going to try, I have set up this forum right here in the forums tab of Tech 259. And if you click on this thermal energy project topic sign up, then it's going to be like a forum. So it's not like one, not like one text document that you can edit, but you should be able to just reply to comments. And I think this should work. It, it might not be the ideal solution. Normally, I have a piece of paper, a physical piece of paper that the students in the class sign up for a topic. And that way you can see what other people have signed up for. But you can't really do it that this semester just because we're separated in some cases by, uh, I know some people are remote and don't come to campus that often. So I don't wanna make people come to campus or to Turner Hall just to sign up for a topic. So I think this is gonna be the most efficient way to sign up for a topic. So. You can click on the conversation and uh, hit reply, or you know you, you can figure it out. Just uh, under this forum, under this topic for thermal energy project topic sign up, um, reply to this or create a new one under here. Whatever you you can figure it out, um, and um, and just 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 enter something like this. Just enter your name or both names if you're working with a partner enter your name or both names in your group, and then just say what your topic is. So um, that's it. doesn't have to be, you don't have to describe it or anything. You don't have to write a paragraph or give commentary on on any anyone else's posts or anything, nothing like that. Just, just a way to let everyone else and me know what topic you're going to be pursuing. All right, uh, so that's about it. That's all I really wanted to mention about this. Um, if you have any questions or want to discuss it in any more detail, I'm happy to discuss it with you. So um, you can shoot me an email about it or you can stay after class someday 
and we can talk about it in more detail. Um, and that's about it. You've got uh, plenty of time to work on it. I like trying to put this assignment out early in the semester. So you got plenty of time. You got actually more like a, a month and a half. You got like a month and a half from now to work on this. So that should be plenty of time to do research on a topic and come up with an eight to 12 minute presentation. All right, uh, let me know if you, if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the class and have a good week.